Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing a cage tour with Little Rhino. So I've actually been cleaning the cages over the past two days. I cleaned this one like two days ago, I believe, and this one I just cleaned last night. And I just didn't have my camera on me and I didn't film, so I just figured that I was going to go ahead and do a cage tour anyways. Just to show you guys. So Rhino was just up, but I think he just went back to sleep just because I was like kind of cleaning up the cage before I filmed. In here we just have his regular good old pink igloo. I use this a lot. I really need to get a new hideout for him because I feel like I just use the same two over and over because I don't have that many Syrian sized ones and I really just need to buy a new one. Most of mine are dwarf sized. I have a lot of dwarf sized ones, but not too many Syrian sized. Um, and we have a solid, I'd say five or six inches of bedding over there for him. And then we have this rainbow bridge that is kind of corralling in some of the bedding, which by the way, this is the natural colored KT clean and cozy bedding. And I think I got this at PetSmart or Petco, I'm not sure. And then we have this water bottle on the outside. I have a water dish over there, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then I have a water bottle over here. I want to give him one in each, and I just thought it would be easier to have the water bottle right here. And then under it, we have this little rock. Um, and then right here, we have a bendy bridge. It just has like some food in it right now because I was scatter feeding yesterday. And this is just like a dried millet or mealworm actually, but he's not a huge fan of them. So just leaving that there. And then over here, as you guys can obviously see, there's a huge eco earth dig pit for him. I think he's really gonna enjoy digging in here. I actually haven't seen him dig too, too much. He's more of a sand digger, but I just thought it'd be nice to give him this. And I am including one of the blocks that I made in the trying hamster hacks video. I'm just leaving that in there in case he wants to chew on it. And over here we have some rocks. And there are some like pieces of bedding in here, but honestly I don't really mind too too much just because it is supposed to look natural and that's just kind of what happens. So if it were like completely fresh looking, it wouldn't look super natural. But yeah, so this is cage number uno. Not a whole lot going on here. And then moving on, I just took off the lid. Uh, we have this cage, so a lot going on in here. I tried to put a lot of toys in here for Rhino this week. So we're gonna start in the corner. We have his Wodent wheel. It is a of an inch, but blue and black, y'all already know. And then we have another one of these wood blocks. This is the one that I put peanut butter on. Rhino hasn't been chewing on it a whole lot, but you guys can see there's like a little bit of chewage. Not too, too much but I still like to put whimsies in there so at least he's getting something to chew on. And over here we just have his food dish. There's not a whole lot of food in it. I like to feed him every night. So that's just kind of like the remnants of yesterday. And we have just this little wicker tunnel that he can run through. And then we have this seesaw, I guess. My dwarf hamsters loved this so much. So if you have a dwarf hamster, I would definitely recommend getting this. I used to have like the cutest video of Smudge running through this. He was my old past hamster. And um, it is Syrian size, so Rhino can use this. These are a little small though, but just if he wants to run across that or anything. And then we have this wood plank. Y'all have seen this a lot, driftwood. Honestly, I just love driftwood so much. So if you have a hamster, I would definitely recommend getting some. It really adds a natural look in the cage and Rhino loves to climb on this thing so much. And what I was kind of trying to do with this is I was kind of trying to like prop it up so that he could get up to his platform because his platform is quite high. I tried adding this little bridge so that he can try to climb up. I mean, he's a pretty large hamster, so I feel like that wouldn't be too, too hard for him to get up onto. And I actually left a whimsies on here yesterday night. And as you guys can see, it is not here anymore. So he obviously got on here somehow. So I don't think that's gonna be too hard for him. And then underneath we have this water dish. And then as always, we have his sand bath, which is just probably his favorite place here. And the wheel are like his two favorite places in his entire cage. He just loves it so, so much. That kind of the tour. 
So I know this was a pretty quick video, but I am actually in school this week, like in person, so I haven't been able to film a whole lot of great videos for you guys this week, but I just thought you guys would enjoy this because you guys always enjoy like cage tours and things like that. When Rhino wakes up tonight, I'm gonna try to get some more clips of him just kind of hanging out, exploring, doing his little thing once he wakes up. Three hours later. Y'all, it is about 9.30 and look who is up. What is up, Rhino? You know, I really should bring out my ring light. I'm gonna take this off and we are just going to watch as Rhino explores his new cage because it's still technically new. I just set it up last night, so. True that. Hello, Rhiners. He loves the camera. He is a camera boy, that is for sure. I'm gonna give him some food. Sprinkling some food around for Rhino to go get and just chomp on. I am trying to get some of the Missouri um, protein pellets just to add more protein to his mix. A lot of people say that that's really good to mix the sunburst hamster food with the Missouri pellets. So I am going to look into getting some of those for Rhino just to add in some more protein. Looking at his cage right now, this is the remains of a onesies chew one night after I put it into his cage. Literally, I told you guys I put it like right over here. Rhino absolutely destroyed this thing. This is why I think onesies are like the best chew. That is pretty much it. Rhino is just kind of running on his wheel like normal. He pretty much runs on his wheel, plays in his sand bath, or like eats all night. Those are like his three main things. One last thing that I want to mention, I was literally about to post this on Instagram, but then I forgot. It is just about these wheat sprays that I bought off Amazon a while back, like about a month ago with some of my birthday money. So I had heard that wheat sprays and oat sprays are really good to give your hamster. And when I saw the package, I did not think Rhino was gonna like, like them at all. I mean, of course I was hoping he would like them considering like I bought them and everything, but he has literally loved these way more than I thought. Like he devours every single one that I give him and they're really good for scavenging and foraging. So that's what I do is I just like spread them out and sprinkle them all around his cage and he just loves them a lot. And so I would definitely suggest getting these for your hamster. They're pretty natural. I'm really surprised Rhino likes his because he is kind of picky when it comes to treats, at least to like wood and stuff. So yeah. I will see you in my next video. Bye.